it's so fluffy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It looks awesome. Doesn't it look awesome? Mm. Yeah. bathroom and Japanese bathrooms are really tiny and it's usually separate from the toilet so like my bathroom's over here my toilet's like way over there I'm gonna be coloring my hair here I changed into a white t-shirt I can't find my other t-shirt which I usually use when I color my hair probably threw it away I don't know uh, so yeah I'm using this one I prefer white over black because I can't really see the color if I'm not wearing a white t-shirt. All I have with me is this thing. So this is Butein and it's a set already, which includes gloves over here. So this is the coloring stuff that you just have to mix. So this one over here is a cream colorant and this one over here is the cream developer. So this one says number one and this says number two. And these are some instructions that I had to look up on the internet because I can't really read it. But it's very straightforward, so I put the mixture together, I shake it for a couple of seconds, I apply it all over my hair, massage my roots, wait for a couple of minutes, and then that's it. Okay, so I finished doing my hair. Made sure that everything is, you know, wet. Except for the back part, maybe the back part needs it more. Okay, never do what I just did because you understand. Never do that. Okay, so now I am gonna massage my scalp without the gloves. I feel like wearing the gloves is like ruining my hair. But make sure that it doesn't stay in contact with your skin for too long because it'll start to itch. Well, I started to itch. I had a small drop on my arm and then I didn't realize it was there and suddenly it was so freaking itchy that I was like, oh, I've got something on my arm. Alrighty, I'm good to go. I will wait a couple of minutes and take this off by showering, which I do not want to show the internet. I'm just going to put this in the bun and probably read a book or edit some videos. I don't know. Perfect. I'll see you guys later. Bye! Hey guys! So I went ahead and washed my hair. So I shampooed it and conditioned it. And in the box that I had, there was a conditioner included. So I used that and combined it with my own conditioner because I don't think it was enough for my hair. So now it's all fluffy and I kind of straightened it a little. It was all over the place after I blow dried it and whatever. Oh, also I went ahead and put on some makeup. Why? Because I want to. <laughs> I put on a kind of violet-ish lipstick. I bought it here in Japan actually. Let me, let me try to figure it out. Smoke to purple. Smoke to purple. It smoked purple! Oh my god. That took me ages to read. As you can see, it's written in Japanese, so I tried my best to read it. If you like the shade, it says Smoked Purple by MAC. Ta-da! So yeah, there are a couple of like highlights over here. It's a little shiny, and I like that. And I don't know if you can see the purplish hue, but it's more obvious in the sunlight. So I might go out just to show you what it looks like in the sun. I like it, like it blends well with my brown and now it doesn't look brassy at all. So thank you very much for making it to the very end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and be part of my growing family. I do make videos regularly now and I've found a pattern in my schedule that works for me. So please tell me if you want to color your hair purple as well. And if you have any questions about what I use, the process, um, anything at all, just put it in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!